Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and today I'm going to show you using the Casio Prism calculator, though it also works on the other Casio uh, graphing calculators, how to enter inequalities and find the intersection of those. So a linear program problem. Um, we're going to have four inequalities, and we're going to show how you can graph them all in the same graph and find the intersection area. So I'm using a problem from our Fostering Algebraic Thinking book, um, and it is called The Snack Problem. I have a blog post on this that actually gives you a download of it, so if you want to go check that out. Um, so I'm going to enter the equations that I've already taken from the problem and put into y equals. So the first thing is we need to get into the graph menu. So we're going to hit 5 on our calculator. That brings us to the graph menu. Notice it's y equals. I have inequalities, so I need to change the type for my first inequality. And so I hit F3 and then F6 to get my other options. And now you can see my inequalities. And my first inequality is a Y is less than or equal to. So I'm going to choose F4. You'll notice that I now see Y less than or equal to up here at the top. And I'm going to enter my um, equation. It is one that has a fraction. So I'm going to hit the fraction button here and enter my first um, equation. So it, again, I'm getting this from uh, a problem that I've already done and it's on the blog post that I have uh, so we have this is representing uh, saturated fats in oops I forgot my X let's go back it's hard to look at my thing and do my X so now I'm gonna go down enter my denominator 0 0.10 and now I'm going to hit execute to enter and so now you'll notice that my y1 has the inequality symbol here because that's what I chose my y2 is however a different inequality it is now a greater than so I need to go back and change the type for y2 this is a great thing about Casio you can put more than one type of inequality on here so again f6 and now this time I want greater than or equal to so f3 and now I'm going to enter my second um, equation which also is in a fraction form here so 3 minus and these represent my fiber and let's put the denominator in and choose execute to enter so now if I arrow up it a little you'll see that I have both inequalities uh, y is less than or equal to, y is greater than or equal to, and now we're going to go down to our third constraint. We actually have four constraints in this problem. Um, we want our x and y to both be greater than 1 because we want one serving of each. This has to do with peanuts and potato chips. So my next equation is actually an x greater than or equal to equation. So that again, the great thing about the calculator is I can actually enter that. So when I go to type, if I hit F6, I'll see my y inequalities but if I hit F6 again I also see my X inequalities so I want to choose X is greater than or equal to um, so I'm going to choose F3 notice now I have an X um, options and these are all now X's and I'm going to put just one so I want at least one serving of peanuts that's what this represents and I hit execute and let's just arrow up you can see I have all three even the X um, equation inequality is on here so this is a, a really great feature of the Casio graphing calculators let's enter our last one which currently says X but we don't want it to be X so we're going to hit type again F6 and this time we want Y greater than or equal to 1 so I'm going to choose F3 and this represents my servings of potato chips for this particular problem I hit execute so now you can see I have all four of my constraints for this linear program problem. Um, I have my fats, my fiber, my amount of servings for potato chips and peanuts. So they're all here. When I hit draw, we're going to see these inequalities graph. Now, since they all have the equal sign, they're going to be solid lines, but then they're going to have the shading as well. So let's just hit what, see what happens when we hit draw. And you'll see it's doing them in order with colors. And so this is kind of a messy graph. What I really care about is this little intersection of all four of them right here. So I am going to kind of change the way this looks. So one thing I want to do is change my type of graph because right now it's showing the union of all of my areas. So what I'm going to do is hit shift and setup and this takes me to my uh, setup menu 
and I want to kind of change the way my inequality looks. Right now, my inequality defaults set as the union of the inequalities, the unions of all those. So we're going to go down here, and notice when I arrow down, I now have either intersect or union. So we're really only interested in the linear program problem in the intersection of those four. So let's choose that. You'll notice it changes to intersection, and then let's hit exit. We're back to our graph function. Another thing I want to probably change is my window. Um, so let's let's change our window here. So we're going to go into uh, F3. Oops, I did that wrong. F3. We're going to, here's my window currently. It's the kind of the standard format. I want to think about the constraints of my problem. I'm dealing with uh, um, servings. I'm not going to have less than zero serving so I my minimum doesn't need to be in the negative so I'm gonna make my minimum x value be a zero and my max oops now you guys don't have the problem in front of you but the max is is five so we're gonna just put a five there same thing with my y's so all I'm doing is arrowing down and changing my uh, x and min so I want y is not gonna ever be less than zero and so we hit execute and then my max y is five for this particular problem. So I've simply changed my window to be one that is going to represent what I really want to happen. So let's hit exit again. So now let's draw. So what have we done? We've, we've changed the constraints. We've changed the graph to only show the intersection, not the union. And we've changed our window. So let's see what our graph looks like now. And now you'll see I only have my intersection of those four constraints. This is a linear pro linear um, programming problem because my solution is actually this entire shaded region. If I want to have the actual uh, points, find these intersection points, I can do that by selecting two of the um, intersecting lines and finding that point. So let's just do one to kind of show that. So I want to go into uh, G solve, so F5, and I want the intersection. And it's going to ask me which which graph. So right now it's highlighting this first one. So sure, that looks good. Let's hit execute. And then it's saying, do you want the second over here? Well, they don't intersect. So let's maybe change that to a different one. Oops, I'm doing that. There we go. I'm just hitting my arrow. So let's do this. So now it's showing, let's do this intersection. So I'm going, yeah, that's what I want. I want. And so here we have the intersection. So this would be one of my... Um, points of intersection, uh, if I'm looking for a max, min value, those types of things. And I could do the same thing to find the other four, other three points in this particular case. So that's how you use the uh, Casio graphing calculator to do linear program problems. And again, if we hit exit, the amazing thing about the Casio uh, graphing calculator is that you can actually see the inequalities right on the graph menu very quickly and you can do x and y together on the graph which is um, I think an amazing feature. All right thanks.